All right, here's a story about the Alter Rebbe. First Rebbe of Chabad. The first Rebbe of Chabad, he wrote a Sefer Torah. I don't think that Sefer Torah is in existence anymore, but he wrote a Sefer Torah. And when he passed away, <clears throat> this Sefer Torah went into the hands of his son. His son, no, can't do it. Okay, good. So his son, do I do this one second? No, 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 I have to leave the meeting. Okay. To his son, the Midler Rebbe. And the Midler Rebbe took the Sefer Torah to Niezhen. I think, no, 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 I'm sorry, I took it to Lubavitch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He took the Sefer Torah to Lubavitch. Okay. After the Mitla Rebbe passed away, so his son, Menachem Nachum, uh, took the Sefer Torah to the place where his father was buried. He was buried in Niezhen. And there was a, a, a shul over there in Niezhen. And he took the Sefer Torah over there. Over there. Right, just one moment. Titzaltel ba'od eser dakot ba'bakashani ba'emsa shi'ur. Eser dakot. Okay, so uh, the Sefer Torah was there. <clears throat> there. There's stories about this Menachem Nachum also. Uh, the, an, another interesting story, but I think I told you that story about the circus that they made. In any case, let me finish this story. And so a fire broke out. A fire broke out in the edge and, and it, all the houses were made from wood. And so it, it started jumping from house to house. And this, I guess, was in the middle of the night. And someone came and told Menachem Nachum, the son of the Mitla Rebbe, that there was a fire and that it was, uh, uh, it started, the, 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 the shul started to catch on fire. So immediately he <clears throat> ran to the shul. I guess he put on his clothes, whatever, and he ran to the shul and he burst through the door to save the Sefer Torah. Save the Sefer Torah. And the fire was already starting to eat up the walls. It was already starting to get very hot. And suddenly he realized that he had forgotten the key. In his haste to leave his house, <clears throat> so the key was not in his pants pocket. He kept them in several ways. And in his haste to leave the house, as he forgot the key at home, to run back home would be out of the question. Because then for sure, the whole place would go up in flames. And he realized it was getting really, really tremendously hot and filled with smoke. And he thought to himself, listen, my only chance is maybe I left the, Ar the Arana Kodesh, the Ark, maybe I left it open. Or maybe it was open for some, who knows what reason, but that's his only chance. He has to go and try it at least and see if it opens up, then it'll, then he can save the Sefer Torah. And if not, then he has to immediately leave because the fire is really, it's becoming unbearable. And so he, he ran up to the ark and all of a sudden somebody was standing in front of him and opened up the ark and turned around, took out the Sefer Torah and he gave it to him and it was the Alter Rebbe. The Alter Rebbe was there himself and he opened up the ark, the Arana Kodesh, and he gave him the Sefer Torah. And that, and, and he ran out and saved the Sefer Torah. So we see that the Alter Rebbe actually appeared physically in his physical body, and he gave them the physical Sefer Torah, and he ran out just in time to save the Sefer Torah. Sefer, real story. Real story. Yeah, that's the story that I wanted to tell you. And uh, yeah, God willing, Tomorrow, I'll tell you the story about the child that cut out like a chicken, Meanwhile, like a rooster. Meanwhile, think about it. I'm almost sure that I told you the story. It was really practically, it was the first story I ever heard, Hasidic story that I ever heard told. And um, the person who told me that story is now very, very ill. I visit him regularly. His name is um, Yitzchak Ben Esther. So he should have a Rafu Shlema and the merit that he told me this story. Yeah.
So you know what? I'll even tell the story. Two stories. Here we go. Ready? Let's turn this one off. Record.